so today's episode we're gonna talk about schedules um, advanced function blocks that are available on Alerton Visualogic and that can be used um, to turn or off uh, a device or an equipment at a particular time uh, there are different ways to set it up um, but uh, I'm gonna going I'm gonna go through some of the uh, uh, simplest and uh, the best options that are available in the Alerton system um, so feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also please uh, uh, share and like yeah let's get started um, so I have the Alerton compass uh, on my screen um, so when you go on to compass option here um, you can see a different option options or menus um, so when you click on schedules schedule points um, you can see all the schedules um, list or points that are available here, right? So this is a basic or a standard uh, method that is used uh, in Alertron to um, uh, schedule an equipment or schedule the whole building. Um, so I, I just want to um, show you the basic setup or the simplest option. Um, so once this screen pops up here, uh, you could click on add button and then um, from the drop down you have to specify or specific to that particular area or the controller um, so uh, currently i'm going to choose a vip controller here um, then the my point becomes a binary value and my object instance becomes bv40 or 40 yeah um, so if you are working on alerton you know why you gotta use bv40 uh, because um, it has uh, specific uh, standard that Alatana has made under BV40 yeah so I'm not gonna disclose that uh, but uh, let me know what is that uh, uh, that specific to BV40 okay so moving on to the next um, so I'm gonna click OK and then in the host I'm gonna uh, select the same device again uh, which is a VIP controller and I'm gonna call this uh, scheduler as pump Right, so then next, I'm gonna keep the same naming standard uh, convention on all the schedules, including um, holiday and events, uh, which is a pump, and then finish. Um, so then there is another wizard um, or a pop-up window uh, showing you the uh, standard holiday event schedule on the top and a calendar on the right and the point that are you, you are using to uh, create a schedule for so I'm gonna select the standard schedule and right click and then here I'm gonna choose new so under new I want the pump to be on uh, on alternative days um, so I choose Friday I'm gonna choose Wednesday and I want them to be on between let's say 2 a.m. to 2 30 a.m. Um, and then hit save and then click OK so once you do this uh, the schedule will be created and your schedule point list will be up updated so now you can see there is a missing naming convention um, so you may name it while you are downloading the DDC uh, make sure to have it proper description um, and then download and once you create the schedule you will see the proper um, schedule name uh, under point schedule now the schedule is created um, so you could either access uh, the schedule um, in this format or there is a better way to access uh, that is from the front end or the web UI um, so I'm gonna choose uh, the left navigation here and I'm gonna choose schedule points zones and click search so under the search uh, you will see all the list of schedules and this is the schedule we just created I'll say I want to view this schedule and then um, I'll just scroll up uh, and see okay my schedules are created so this option is available or this is accessible to end user um, so when end user access this um, um, so this can be clicked and then the time or the schedule can be adjusted similarly the number of days uh, can be selected or unchecked um, in here so I'm gonna choose um, then I'm gonna click OK and then save the schedule um, so this is the standard um, uh, method that most of you are using uh, in uh, Alerton uh, 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 Compass software. So uh, what are the other methods? Yes, there are other methods that are residing in your Alerton Visiologic or Compass Visiologic, however you want to call it, right? Um, 
um, so I have two files here uh, one is more descri uh, descriptive uh, I just want to open this for now um, and show you what are the different functions that are available um, so on the left navigation under Visiologic Advanced VLC you can see different functions block yeah so here I'm using the um, some of the fun function blocks that are available um, so one of them is the daily schedule function block okay so um, so this gives me uh, time to turn on or off off so here um, so in this function block um, let's say um, there is an on time there is an off time there is a current time so under the current time uh, when I double click um, so I, I'm making sure that the current time of the device is red and there is an on and an off time how are these values calculated um, Alerton uses uh, uh, an expression um, which is a negative expression or a positive expression um, so how is that calculated the formula is here um, so let's say after midnight um, if you want to do a positive minutes or an hour um, you could be doing it uh, uh, with the conversion as mentioned here and if it is a negative conversion you you would be using a constant of 1440 so let us say I want to turn on or off uh, the pump at a particular time so I'm gonna use um, the conversion and okay I need to turn on a pump around 2 30 a.m. which gives me a converted value of 150 um, and then I want to turn off a pump around 5 a.m. in the morning which gives me a positive value of 300 um, now can I use a negative value of course yes um, so you can use the negative value uh, uh, like what is converted here um, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the whole number of positive um, uh, output and then uh, use a constant value which was 1440 to convert that to a um, uh, required timestamp so I'm gonna use the positive end of it uh, for now so let's say 150 and then 300 so I want to turn on a pump around 150 which is mentioned here and I want to turn off the pump around 5 a.m. Um, which is mentioned here okay um, so whenever this function um, or the time right uh, is seeing 150 um, uh, 150 value uh, you will start seeing that your output is on whenever you see the time which is the current time matches your off time that's when you see the output uh, being turned off um, the school right uh, but you need to know uh, your timing and then you have to match or convert the expression to required positive and negative expressions um, so we'll move on to the next one um, so here um, this is a latitude and a longitude uh, function block uh, which gives you sunrise and sunset so now where is this used so this is used um, for a lighting control um, so uh, which are outside of your building um, so you may have a feedback or a variable that is already present uh, from the lighting control system but um, just to make sure you are um, having a proper turn on or turn off time so you could use uh, this function block here um, so um, so whenever you are on the Google page um, so if you type uh, your zone uh, it will give you the exact uh, uh, latitude and longitude um, so you could you could use that and uh, put your latitude and longitude here so now um, there is um, always uptime and always downtime so what is this does so this is only for the uh, in the altitude above the Arctic Circle or below the Antarctic Circle uh, which is always true uh, whenever the Sun may not set or not rise right uh, depending on um, either conditions uh, so so coming to sunset time and sunrise time uh, depending on your time zone or the longitude and uh, latitude make sure to set your controller at the right latitude and longitude and have a um, um, correct UTC offset on them uh, otherwise the function may um, not work properly yeah um, so we can see here um, like uh, currently um, the sunset value is around 1787 and sun uh, rise time is around 899 so if 
you are not seeing these outputs right that means your latitude and longitude are not correctly set on the controller um, so um, that can be seen um, by going into your device manager going into compass device manager and selecting that particular controller configuration um, the last option that you see uh, here uh, um, will give you latitude longitude and also the U UTC um, offset okay um, that is one of the function blocks it's really helpful uh, to make sure um, your lighting uh, system are turned on or off or um, you know okay I'm I want my system to be turned on um, exactly when sun sets um, so you could use this or whenever sun rises so this is a great example and uh, definitely you could have um, additional function blocks to have an offset of uh, five minutes uh, or a ten minutes or an hour uh, before you bring them on yeah so that is one of the function block this uh, the last and the third function block is um, the Uh, conversion function block uh, which you can see it here um, so the conversion uh, function block what it does is uh, so whatever your current time uh, which is uh, currently uh, when I'm recording this is about 212 which gives me a uh, expression value of 852 and converts that to mean 24 uh, military or, or 12 hour format um, so 24 so you could have a different avs under each output um, and use them uh, for your calculations or uh, your uh, comparison and then um, if you want to know if it is a, a pm or a am you could use uh, your uh, last um, uh, last object uh, which is bv5 in this case uh, whenever there is a pm your output uh, bv would be on and whenever it's a am your output be, will, will be off. Um, so these are the, some of the function blocks uh, that are present in Alert and Visual Logic. Um, so those are the advanced function block. Um, you could uh, use it anytime. Um, and if you like this, uh, please share and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about advanced function blocks that are present in Alert, please comment in the section below. Thank you. Have a good day.